a young man shot dead on a balcony of a block of flats in London, has been pictured for the first time. Ramain Wigan, 25, from Tulst Hill, was this evening confirmed as the victim of the West Norwood shooting which happened at around 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Ramain died from a single gunshot wound less than 30 minutes after paramedics rushed to his aid. Met Police detectives have released a photo of Ramain and said formal identification will take place next week. A spokesman said, next of kin have been notified. While formal identification will take place on Monday, 1 April, the family are content for the deceased to be named. It comes as around 15 friends and members of Ramain's family went to the crime scene on Thursday night to lay flowers and light candles to pay their respects. His aunt said, he was a good boy. He was lovely, always smiling. Touching messages were left on the bouquets by relatives. One tribute left on the flowers read, to my beautiful nephew, gone but not forgotten. Another said, to my cousin, I will cherish my memories of you and will truly miss you. A further one read, rest in peace. We'll miss you always, Auntie Pauline and family XXX. A post-mortem examination was also carried out today and confirmed Ramain died from a gunshot wound. Two men, both aged 27, were arrested on suspicion of murder. Both have been released on bail to a date in late April. A Met spokesman said, detectives investigating a fatal shooting of a man in Lameth have named the victim as Ramain Wigan, aged 25, who is from Tulst Hill. Police were called at 16.11 hours on Wednesday, 27 March by London Ambulance Service to reports of a man in a critical condition in Friar Mews, West Norwood. Officers and paramedics attended. At the scene Ramain was found suffering from a gunshot wound. He sadly died at the scene at 16.45 hours a post-mortem examination was conducted at Greenwich Mortuary on Friday, 28 March, and found the provisional cause of death to be a gunshot wound. The Homicide and Major Crime Command lead the investigation. Enquiries into CCTV and witness accounts are ongoing, but officers are still keen to hear from anyone who witnessed the shooting or has information, particularly dash cam footage. Residents living near the murder scene told of their shock earlier this week. One woman, who did not want to be named, said, it appears he's been shot right outside a front door on the top floor of the flat. This is horrific. I live in a house just yards away. It's a tragedy. Crime is out of control in London. We've heard people inside the block tried to resuscitate the man and save him. They tried their best but couldn't. Another woman, who gave her name as Jessica, had been told that the victim was covered in a pool of blood. She said, the woman who lives in that flat said the victim was covered in blood. There were bullets on the floor. She spoke to me about what happened. She said a neighbor was performing CPR on the victim. She was outside her front door when this happened. Any witnesses and those with information should call the Homicide and Major Crime Command Incident Room on 020 
or 101 quoting CAD 5335, tweet at Metger Crimes Toppers anonymously on 0800555111. Read more top news stories from Mirror Online.